We are going to group our next two technology strategies into sort of one bigger topic. So we're going to ask the question, what is computer aided design, CAD, and computer aided manufacturing, CAM? So that's just two of the strategies we're looking at. How can we make the operation system more efficient and effective? Well, we'll group these two together and say they kind of work side by side. So to look at how they work, why don't we go back to the past and say, once upon a time, to design a product, it was done by hand. So if you wanted to design a building, an architect would sit down and draft a plan on paper. And clothing and fashion or footwear or anything like that, yeah, the fashion designer would also do the designs by hand. And that still does happen, but there is a better way to do it now that can sort of augment or improve that. Also, once upon a time, manufacturing a product was done by hand. So we're going to look at Tesla a lot in this chapter. So cars, yeah, one person put the engine in. Another group of people put the doors in, another group of people put the seats in, and each person became an expert at sort of their thing, putting the windshields in, etc. But that is not how we do things anymore. Technology has replaced the needs for uh, the need for a lot of these tasks to be done manually, and the designing part is now done by what we call computer-aided design, or CAD. That is, computer programs that facilitate creating and editing of products in the design phase, which, before we even start production, means we can create a 3D model, easily adjust, improve, and modify that model, and calculate the precise measurements and cost of the design, which is really important. We can figure out maybe we don't even want to make this product because it's too expensive when we figure out the design. And lastly, we can then feed that design into machines that are going to make it 100% accurately. That is what we call computer-aided manufacturing, or CAM. That is, where the products of the business are assembled or produced through program instructions from a computer, which controls the machinery, tools, robots, and equipment that make that product. So, how does it actually work? Well, this is just a very basic and simplified example, but we design a product using CAD. So, specify the exact dimensions of materials, and we'll just pick a Tesla, for example. So, it's, you know, these designs aren't by happenstance, they're done with a lot of thought, and they're adjusted and modified and designed, etc. And we come up with a model Tesla Model 3 design. But then maybe we want to improve it. So maybe we adjust, modify, and improve it. And it's really easy because it's done on a computer. We don't have to redraw all our handwritten diagrams. And the reason why we do that is because we get then asked questions like, well, maybe we need to change the measurements to make the product easier to make. What else? Maybe the customer that uh, we surveyed about this doesn't actually like a particular feature. Well, let's get rid of it. We just change the design on a computer. What about if we reduce the size of, say, this part, uh, then we can save time and money in making it? Well, we can calculate that easy with some software. And yeah, what if we actually swap one part for another? How does that change the design and our costs, etc.? And lastly, I guess what we need to think about, particularly with a car, is, you know, how big are these parts? Would these parts fit onto a truck and into our factory and be easy to assemble? And if not, maybe we need to change the design. So then we change it, we're locked into our design. Well, now what? Now we're going to turn it into program instructions which outline the exact steps to make the product. So you can think of that as coding. So if you know how to code, it's just turning those this design into a series of steps to tell a machine, move left by 10 centimeters, go down by eight, cut here, etc. And then lastly, we feed those uh, that code or that program into a bunch of machines, robots, and equipment, and that is our computer-aided manufacturing. And you can see here, not one, there's a little human in the background there, but putting the panels on, and I think it's the doors here, that is all being done by a robot that has been fed instructions um, from a design. 